U.S. Spacewalk number 79 will begin at the Quest airlock. U.S. astronaut Kayla Barron, Navy 1, denoted by the red stripes, will egress first and receive a very large Irosa mod kit strut bag. U.S. astronaut Raja Chari in the plain white suit will egress second with a crew like bag. After quick buddy checks, EV-1 will head up to Phase 1 and out to the S-4 Integrated Equipment Assembly, pausing momentarily to drop her fair lead green hook just inboard of the solar alpha rotary joint, and then continue her translation out to the S-4 3-alpha Integrated Equipment Assembly, where she will stow the large Arosa mod kit strut bag and prep for the building of the upper triangle of the mod kit. Meanwhile, EV-2 will follow EV-1 up to Phase 1. EV-2 will stop at the starboard seat of cart, where he will temp stow a crew lock bag of tools and retrieve a foot restraint and a worksite interface extender known as a WIFX, and then translate outboard, pausing momentarily to drop his fairly green hook just inboard of the solar alpha rotary joint. Continuing outboard, EV-2 will cross over to the radiator side of the IEA and stow the foot restraint and the worksite interface extender into the worksite interface number 26. EV-2 will then set up the foot restraint for optimum Arosa mod kit upper triangle installation and then translate over to join EV-1 to begin assembling the upper triangle. EV-1 and EV-2 will work together to build the upper triangle. The crew will build the triangular segment loosely and then will tighten up the structure by driving the bolts to torque. EV-2 will then translate over to and ingress the foot restraint. EV-1 will reposition for the handoff and EV-1 will hand off the upper triangle to EV-2. EV-2 will lay back and work to soft dock the segment onto the beta gimbal assembly and then drive four bolts. EV-1 will temp stow her PGT with a short socket on a local handrail while EV-2 will egress the foot restraint and bias it to the left hand side. EV-1 will go over to the back and retrieve the left mid strut and work to pass this off to EV-2 for a body restraint tether stow. EV-2 will then re-ingress the foot restraint while EV-1 retrieves the long eight foot lower strut from the bag and hands it to EV-2. While EV-2 holds the long lower strut, EV-1 will reposition to the solar array blanket box or sob for the install of the left lower strut. As a team, the crew will move the strut into position and EV-1 will begin at driving this bolt by hand four turns. EV-2 will then work to align and drive his bolt on the mounting bracket side two turns. And then EV-1 will work to complete the torque on this bolt by driving with the pistol grip tool to a high torque and then following with an even higher torque on the torque wrench. Once the bolt is deemed good, EV-2 will be given a go to drive his bolt to torque using the pistol grip tool. And this completes our minimum config. EV-1 will reposition to the beta gimbal assembly and EV-2 will hand off the telescoping mid for install. EV-1 will work to soft dock the side pad onto the BTA while EV-2 holds his clevis bolt side in place. EV-1 will start her four bolt two turns with the pistol grip tool and then EV-2 will drive his clevis bolt to torque on the mounting bracket. EV-1 will then complete her four bolts with her pistol grip tool and then EV-2 will drive his bolt to torque. EV-2 will then egress and reposition the foot restraint to bias it to the right hand side. The, mod the crew will then repeat the handoff sequence. First, the mid strut for body restraint tether stow, foot restraint ingress, followed by handoff of the very long lower right strut. EV-1 will then reposition to the right hand side of the three alpha beta gimbal assembly, and an analogous install and strategy will unfold. EV-1 will position at the right sob bearing for lower strut install and drive the lower strut bolt to torque. EV-1 will drive his clevis bolt to the mounting bracket. EV-1 will then reposition at the BGA and they will hand off the right telescoping mid struts following the same install strategy. Once complete, EV-1 will translate onto the mid strut and drive two collar bolts to torque to lock out the telescoping mechanism and rigidize the right hand side. EV-2 will then egress the foot restraint and begin to clean up. Once the multi-layer installation, or MLI, is fully closed and wired tied down, EV-1 will reposition to repeat the collar bolt and MLI ops on the left hand side. EV-2 will then translate around the integrated equipment assembly and stow the tools back in the bag. 
You'll then fold it in up to third for ready for translation in later in the EVA. EV2 will then translate back around the IEA to the foot restraint and work to stow the foot restraint and the worksite interface extender on his body restraint tether. EV1, in the meanwhile, will translate over to the non-radiator side of the IEA to take some still imagery of the completed mod kit. EV1 will then translate out to S6 to our battery charge discharge units. She will begin installing some wire ties on a handrail and prep for restraining the MLI or multi-layer insulation that covers the battery charge discharge unit. Meanwhile, EV2 will translate out to the starboard seat cart to stow the foot restraint and worksite interface extender low profile on the starboard seat cart. EV2 will then retrieve the crew lock bag onto his body restraint tether and head back out to S6 to join EV1. Both crew will work together to open the multi-layer insulation covering the battery charge discharge units. This will allow for robotic access when needed in the future. They'll perform some on-orbit origami, port it to the shape of a triangle, and restrain it out with a wire tie to a local handrail. The crew will then work to brake torque first on H1 followed by H2, and then restrain the other MLI back to open and expose the second battery charge discharge unit, and then work to brake torque and reinstall to a known lower torque on the second battery charge discharge unit. Both crew then will clean up and retrieve the crew lock bag to the BRT or body restraint tether and begin to head inboard to the completion of the EVA. EV2 will lead the way in since he led with second outboard. Translate across the IEA, retrieve his fair lead green hook, translate under the MT and at the CETA handrail bridge, translate Nader down to our airlock. EV1, in the meanwhile, will translate to the S4 IEA, retrieve the folded up mod kit bag, grab her fair lead green hook, translate past the CETA cart, hitting those brake pedals down the CETA handrail bridge and to the airlock, concluding a very successful US spacewalk number 79. Subscribe for more space. space, 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 space.